Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna start playing the campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.03 and it's gonna be also in 4K resolution, let's go on solo play campaign and I wanna start with the evil campaign by the way and of course the hardest difficulty there is. Okay. The Dark Lord Sauron must reclaim the One Ring. With its power unleashed, he will dominate all of Middle-earth. Only Gondor lies between Mordor and the lands beyond. Once it falls, all of Middle-earth shall be Sauron, Rohan, the lands of the Horse Lords. Soon these lands will have a new master. I mean, it's still giving me goosebumps, by the way, guys. It's been a really long time since I played the campaign, and this is also not the campaign we are used to play, by the way, because this is in the mod Shadow and Flame. So we need to click on Isengard. We have Saruman, Grima Vomtong. And let's do this, because Grima Vomtong doesn't even exist normally in the normal BFME 1, as you guys know. Once allied to Gondor, this land now serves a new master, the Dark Lord Sauron. I mean, the Sauron one is a crazy voice. Anyways, enough animations, let's get it started. Build 100 uh, Uruks, left click on your units and right click to move them. So we have also Grima Wontong, which is pretty unique. It doesn't normally exist in BFME 1, as you guys know. So we gotta, we gotta build some extra Lumber Mill workers. And um, because, you know, I remember exactly what we are supposed to do, you know. What we are supposed to do is we need to clean this area. This way we have more building spots and then we can start building Uruk pits and get some more units on the field. We have also different uh, views, just like I've shown you guys also in the in the showcase, in the faction showcase for this mod. And I believe this is so far the best mod I've seen, uh, you know, which was made for BFME 1. I mean, on the other side, it's also copied from the Age of the Ring mod. So we gotta pick up the War Chant. Every, anim every picture and image is also looking different. And there is the Uruk pit coming up now. That's great. Uh, cutting down trees has revealed a foundation. Nice. That's what we needed. We have only 30 Uruk so far. We need to have 100. I mean, that's one of the missions. By the way, you can always check your missions, objectives around this side. And uh, these are bonuses. You don't have to achieve them, but if you do, you will get extra points. Okay. So we will need some... Uh, we have crossbow men here, right? Uh, flaming arrow volley, uh, but I believe it's gonna be a bit harder now because the archers they have no flaming arrows anymore. Oh, wait a second, hold on a second. But Saruman is actually crazy strong, so let's put them on top of the wall just why not, and then we can start making some extra crossbow men. We also get tainted land. I'm actually wondering if we will get the leadership bonuses also from the tainted land. I don't know. We are not allowed to build any more um, lumber mill workers. We have one more spot here. Um, money is not a problem, so we can build actually the second Uruk pit instead. I believe that's a better idea. And again, guys, that's gonna be a 4K resolution, so make sure to enable the 4K resolution when you're watching this video. And please don't forget to leave a like, show your show some love to BFME and also to me. I would really appreciate that, guys. Okay, we have another Uruk pit here, that's great. So let's build some more crossbow men. Here we can actually build a Lammer Mill instead. And also here, I mean, I don't think we will need more than two Uruk pits in total, you know? What's going on here? Oh, oh, hold on a second. Please attack them. Saruman, look, they have a longer range than us, which is kind of interesting. But uh, Saruman got this. Look at this. 100% more damage, 100% more combat experience. Freezing rain there is, nice too. We will need some more units, more units, more units. Maybe I should have gone for one more Uruk pit. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So let's split them on top of the wall. I'm actually kind of disappointed that the Yeoman Arches from Rohan have a longer range than our crossbow men, but it is how it is. Oh, kill the ants. That's gonna be a challenge, challenge now. And because we have not the flaming arrow, we have only flaming arrow with these dudes. And uh, that's like one attack only, which will be with uh, flames. Oh, I should have not used it. We will, but you know what? If you don't know, also lumber mill workers are great against ants. Okay. Now it's on cooldown. Now you see, without fire, we are not able to hurt these ants at all. And there are a bunch of ants. They're also not able to. Wait a second. 
Eh, look, that many lurkers, guys. Let's go. Cut them. I mean, I personally am a good guy, you know? I don't want evil to win, but when I'm playing evil, they gonna win. Trust me on that one, guys. Hey, hey, hey. We have also Grima Warburton here. I forgot about him because he's very... Uh, becomes invisible. He's very... I mean, that's pointless, by the way, guys. Uh, did you know that this Orphang, which is the Citadel in this Isengard Fortress, does take no damage? Like, zero damage. Okay. So we killed him. Almost level 2 Saruman, which will be unlocking the Fireball, which is nice. Okay. So let's go also to this side. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see that a bit better in the 4K resolution. Hopefully you will notice the difference. I mean, of course, if you have like a old monitor, uh, you won't see a big difference, but if you... Okay. But if you are watching this on PC and not on your phone, you should be able to see a great difference in this one. Uh, I'm actually wondering about cross about Visa Blast. Does not do, does need I can't even talk. Does not deal any damage. Uh, he doesn't deal damage to this end uh, anyway, so we need to kill back. Otherwise, Saruman is gonna slowly but surely die. Okay, so we need we can build some more here. Uruk pit, just why not? Lamir mill here. Let's build. I mean, we are command points capped now. We are not able to make any more units, as you can see. Oh, he's still chasing us. Grima Wormtongue is uh, protecting his master. Almost level 2, there we go. We are not able to close the gate, by the way. So we should maybe go for some normal Uruks. Uh, Urukai. Okay, go you on the wall. Kill Elven Warriors, I got you. Unfortunately, our Saruman is quite low. And I'm kind of not sure if we should be making like this, um, you know, mission for mission. Or if we should make like a 2-3 missions at once and then... Uh, upload video by video, you know, because some missions are extremely long and some missions are extremely short So I don't want the videos to be too long and also not to be too short Nice, we are able to one-shot them Come on, Grima Wormtong Look at them Is he able to one-shot them? No, he's not able to one-shot them And because it's the campaign, you are limited in terms of experience gain. So you can't get as many experience in the campaign as you can get, for example, in the normal game, you know? Which makes kind of sense. Because otherwise, uh, your heroes would be level 10 at the end of the first mission, which would be kind of OPOP. And you need to work your way up to get them to the level you need at the end of the game, at the end of the mission, at the end of the campaign. Okay, we have one more spot here. So let's build an armor mill. Uh, we are not able to increase our command points by all means okay we killed all these warriors level two now he has nothing sabotage is available with level three but our saruman has not only uh, the fireball but also the voice of saruman which will be giving experience to the targeted uh no oh you are able to steal enemy units with level three already that's that's busted come on that's crazy am i right or not come my servants, come, my servants. Okay, so what is the next goal? Let me check. Uh, wait a second, that's not what I need to click on. I need to click on this uh, banner. Bonus, uh, kill the ants, okay? Okay, we can also get the bonus of building 16 buildings, just why not? Oh, 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 oh hold on a second. Big brain alert. 200 IQ is incoming. Wait a second, first of all. And then we're gonna steal him. No! He stole him, but we have the one with fire on him. So let's build some more lumber mill workers and let's use them to kill these ants, please. We killed our own ants, pretty much. And once again, this is pointless. So that's what was always annoy annoying me in this campaign. Because they are desperately trying to destroy this orc. Oh, I we have one more ant, okay? You see the damage output from these workers, guys? That's crazy, am I right? Watch now, please. I, I will show you. Look, that's crazy. That's an ant. So, I mean, they want to make it like in the films, right? And that's what was also happening in the films because these are anti-trees. Anti-tree units. Let's build one more. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. When we lose them, it's, it's doomed. We need to run for our lives. Don't chase us. Oh, we are fine. He's going to burn, right? Yeah, yeah. If we would lose Saruman, I believe we are doomed, you know? We will be losing that also, the entire campaign. Or the, the mission has to be replayed in this case. Okay? 
The normal crossbowmen are dealing absolutely no damage to this end, but it is how it is. I believe we need to split this video for video because uh, in 4K resolution, you know, re the recordings, they're gonna be a huge file size. And it's gonna take me like three days to upload one single video to the YouTube channel. Uh, I mean, we killed the ends. Bonus, bonus, finish the level with 100 Uruks. Okay, I mean, we are command points kept. And it's kind of backed, right? No, there. Oh, okay. Oh, we have. The problem is we have no pikemen, am I right? Yeah, we have no pikemen. But it's fine. We have bunch and look how many. <laughs> we have crazy amount of crossbowmen on the wall. Saruman is recovering. We can also right-click the fireball. That means he's gonna automatically cast it. Come, Rohan. Come. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you, my friend. No. So we can also try to use Warchan for once, am I right? So, I guess they are waiting for us, uh, which is smart, but, you know, going outside with the crossbowman against Rohirrim isn't that smart. So what we will be doing now is we're gonna use our wizard, Saruman, to aggro the enemy unit so they can follow him until the gates of Isengard and our crossbowman can handle them. Because going out with this army, they're gonna get uh, one-shotted from the trample, pretty much. So, this is on cooldown, unfortunately, but it's fine. So, let's use on the crossbowman, or Rohirrim Arches in this case, behind. Victory is at hand. Victory is at hand. You're, I mean, he's already predicting what's gonna... Please. Okay, they are coming now. Wait a second, let's use War Chant. Oh, they are, they are scared. They are scared. And he was using cross... Um, see it. Uh, he was using the... Cloud break, you know? And this is... Yeah, when Saruman would be nearby, they wouldn't be afraid because this also gives you fear resistant. And he gives you with level 1. That's a crazy amount of leadership, by the way. 100% damage and 100% combat experience. So Saruman is definitely much more impactful than he is normally in the BFME 1 on the patch 1.06. Way more. Because normally he gives you only 30% armor and 100% combat experience, but the 100% damage boost you get from his leadership is kinda next level, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't like the fact that our crossbowmen are not attacking automatically, and that's why that's one of the things I like BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King more in compared to BFME 1. Anyways, build 100 Uruks, we also completed this one. GG well played, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We are victorious, no surprise, and uh, of course, the more we're going on. Look at this image. But, my lord, there is no such force. <laughs> Are you sure about that? GG well played, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. If you don't uh, if you don't know already, this channel is dedicated to Lord of the Ring Battle for Middle Earth games. And also, we're gonna make videos about the upcoming Lord of the Ring uh, series on Amazon. So stay tuned for this one. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a track. Peace.